Hello and greetings. Welcome to that time of year where it's uh, end of the year uh, activities upon us. One of those activities is creating an end of the year slideshow. I know uh, in, in the past, you know, teachers have done like DVDs, but being that it's 2019, I'm going to try to catch, uh, catch you up with uh, maybe current ways of, of doing this. And one of which is to put it all out online and make it shareable and uh, saves you a lot of hassle. Uh, I know because I know there's teachers that will still burn DVDs, and uh, I kind of want to get you out of that habit. Is uh, a it's a time saver for you, uh, of not doing DVDs, and uh, a money saver as well. So let's take a look at. Uh, I'm going to use my cursor over here from time to time, and let's get right into it. Here we're going to go into let's say uh, your Photos app. Now, if you have photos in your Photos app, this is the best way to do this. If you do not have photos on your Photos app, you need to get them on there somehow. So if you're looking at uh, taking it from Google Drive, that's fine. I've got tons of pictures in my Google Drive. I can uh, use this uh, triple button right here and I can send a copy of this picture and I can save that image right to my Photos library. And here I go to the bottom and there it is. So there's my one photo. Now. Moving on into this, here I'm going to take a look at all of these faces in here. Now I've got three children, so this is what you're going to see. And with the, uh, with the three children, you're going to have uh, photo recognition in the Photos app. Now if you're running the latest iOS on a newer piece of hardware, uh, a, newer I, uh, a newer iPad, this is going to work very well for you. Now I've already done some steps ahead of time, so what I want to show you is I'm going to tap on this picture and I'm going to swipe up with my finger from the bottom and I'm going to swipe up. So I'm going to swipe up and here it shows people and I'm going to tap on that and I've already named my son Noah so the, uh, the, the device knows that that's Noah and as I scroll through here I can see all the photos that relate to Noah. Now it's not all of them, uh, it says show more over here on the left hand side so I can tap on that and there's all the photos that I have that it recognizes Noah in. And it even recognizes him from, you know, now to when he was a baby. Isn't that adorable? I'll tell you what. Now, it recognizes other people. I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on albums down here at the bottom. So, you'll see this right down here and I click on albums. And let's tap on that again. And as I scroll here, uh, scroll down anyway, I see that I've got a people and places. With people and places, it recognizes Noah, and then it also recognizes another child in here, and it says, hey, I want to add name. So I'm going to click on add name, and I'm going to just type this in, Leah, and I'm going to hit next. Oops. There we go. This person is now named Leah. I'm going to hit done. And it says, it's going to say, you know what, I want to show more, but there's a little, uh, there's a little button right up here. If I tap on that, I can confirm additional photos of Leah. So there doesn't appear, it looks like it's already got all of Leah's. And if I click on show more over in this left hand corner, here are all the photos on my iPad of Leah. The nice thing is, is if I want to start creating a special folder just for her or an album just of her, it'll be easier later on when I go in and make a slideshow uh, at the end of the year with uh, the favorites that I want. So let's say I go into select and I'm going to tap on this one and this one and this one and this one and this one. Okay? I don't need any of the uh, additional ones because they're all group photos. Uh, now if I want to, I can click on up here on the share -o share arrow and I can create an album so I can go to album I can create a slideshow from here already but I want to make a, an album of her so I'm going to go into new album I'm going to call this Leah and I do this all ahead of time so then it automatically recognizes uh, all of my students later on uh, and let's go in I'm going to click on Noah and I want to show more. I'm going to select. Boom, 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 boom. And there you go. 
And once again, I'm going to go up to the share arrow, otherwise what I call the share arrow. And I'm going to go to add to album, new album, and I'm going to call this Noah. Now, obviously, I have one more child in here, my daughter, Anna. We're going to go in, and I'm going to go to my camera roll. Here's a, i try to find a good one anyway. Here we go. I'm going to swipe up from the bottom. It recognizes people. I'm going to add a name here. I'm going to add Anna. Next. And I hit done. And I'm going to tap on the blue button up in the upper right. And I'm going to confirm additional photos. Okay. Now it says it doesn't recognize any more of Anna. We're going to go in and and we're going to add name. And I'm going to actually call this Anna. And it says, hey, we already have someone named Anna. I'm going to tap on Anna. This works really, really well when you actually lock your iPad and then uh, actually plug it in. And it will start grinding through all of your photos and start doing the facial recognition. And uh, it, it's one of those things where I can confirm. Okay. Now, uh, it does recognize all the photos with Anna in it now. Now, I'm going to go in. And uh, I've already got two albums created here. I've got three people in here, and you could do all of your students in here. One caveat to this is make sure that you don't uh, have iCloud photos on. This is more of a, so I'm going to tap on my iCloud account, click on iCloud, and I see that my photos is turned off. And I don't want to turn that on because I don't want these photos to go out to the cloud. Uh, and this is more for privacy settings. So I'm back into the Photos app. I'm going to actually get out of the Photos app and go to iMovie. Here's the super fun part. I'm going to create a project. I'm going to create a movie. And I can, on the left hand side, uh, you'll see my little uh, pointer here. I can go from moments to videos to photos. I'm going to tap on, uh, actually, albums. And uh, I'm not going to definitely do selfies. But here I can tap on, like, Leah. And I can go one, two, three, four. And then Noah. And I can add one, two, three. Let's see, let's do them in order that I want. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to just hit create movie. And it will put them in the order that I tap them on. And because they're photos already, it applies this nice movement to them. Uh, it tries to focus on the face. And if it doesn't do a very good job or it just does it in an awkward style, you can change that. Now, iMovie also on the iPad allows, uh, does a automatic transition for you, which is great. Look at that. It just automatically does this for you. And in the end, uh, you can go in and add audio. So if you have your favorite uh, song that you wanted to throw there in there, you just easily do that. Uh, if you want to put in a uh, a blank slide, here's what I do for putting in a blank slide. Uh, this is going to be super cheesy, but it really, really works. Is I'm going to go into let's say pages. I'm going to go into a blank landscape, and I'm actually going to uh, I'm going to do a screenshot right here. So I'm going to hit the home button and the power button at the same time. It takes a screenshot. I'm going to tap on that screenshot, and I'm going to just, uh, there you go, get somewhat close. So I've got a white background there, and I'm going to hit done. I'm going to save to photos. And now what I can do here is I go back into iMovie, and even after the fact, even after you've added photos to your iMovie, you can go in uh, and add media. So how do you do that? Well, I'm going to take this plus sign right up here, tap on that, add a photo, click on all, and there's the latest picture, and there I've got a blank, uh, a blank screen there. Uh, what can I do with that? Uh, super easy, I can add a title to this. I tap on the picture itself down here in the bottom part. 
and then down underneath that you'll see titles tap on titles and here you can add all sorts of great titles to this and in here uh, we can do garden. and because it's white text it doesn't recognize that but uh, it does put a nice little uh, thing on there and if I show this on here Mr. Martin Kindergarten there you go look at that super fancy when you're all said and done let's say I've, I'm finished with this I'm gonna go to done I'm gonna go to the the Shero down here at the bottom right here and I can simply save this video tap on save video and it asks me what size do you want well you know there's some people that have 1080 TVs at home or they have 4k TVs uh, if you do 1080 you're gonna be pretty safe most phones are in that 1080 realm it's gonna export this movie and now that I'm done here's what I'm also gonna be able to do is I can take that video let's click on my albums camera roll here's my video and if I hit the play button There you go. There's the start of the first picture. There's the second picture. And uh, let's let's say we're done here. I'm going to go to the share arrow up here, the share arrow. I'm going to tap on that. I can send it to my YouTube channel if I want. If I was going to do that, I would do an unlisted and then share that link out with parents. Or better yet, send it to Google Drive. Here if I send it to Google Drive, I'm already signed in at k12.sd.us. I'm going to select a folder my drive I can create a new folder let's call this end of the year create no files in this folder I'm gonna save it to here and then last but not least I'm gonna upload this now as it's uploading it says not shared not shared yet but uh, we will share this out and you can do this from your computer at this standpoint uh, because it's probably easier to do and then just email that to your parents most likely you already have an email list for your parents so just send out this link um, and it's available to anyone with the link uh, then then you're pretty much at it you're done thanks so much for watching as always if you like this uh, please hit the thumbs up down below please also uh, consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the notification bell, that way when new content is pushed out, you will be the first to know. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of the day. See you next video.